Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about ASRock's new 1U AMD Ryzen Server Series, which is the AM5 socket. It's going to be the 1U 4LW-B650-2L2T. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's for a little bit more about ASRock's new 1U AM5 Ryzen solutions. In this video, we are gonna specifically talk about uh, the redundant power supply. And in, another, in the next video, we're gonna talk about the single cabled in power supply, which is the big difference between these two servers. So let's go ahead and hop in and start with the CPUs. All right, so there's one CPU inside. It takes AMD Ryzen AM5 socket, which means it is the AMD 7000 series processor inside and this is one of my favorite personal series out there right now uh, the performance that you get is going to blow the comparable Intel out of the water so the e2300 or the e2400 series uh, doesn't really <laughs> match up at all when it comes to the Ryzen but that is the comparable uh, series for Intel and the Ryzen's are just so so powerful overall that it, it's one of my favorite uh, servers to offer out to customers and, and people use it all over from uh, using it as a dedicated server uh, using it uh, for streaming for games gaming. Uh, there's a lot of really great uses that you can use this for because it is so, so powerful. Uh, some of the most popular procs in this series are the 7950X and the 7950X3D. Uh, these are the ones that, that seem to come up the most uh, from our customers uh, that, that are using these as a whole. So that's what we stock. So if you're going to our uh, website, to, uh, you can custom build one of these. Um, and those are the procs that we carry in stock most often so that we can ship out right away. All right, as far as the RAM inside, there are four DIMM slots. It is DDR5 memory. The types of RAM you can use are ECCM buffered and non-ECCM buffered. You can use a number of different sizes. You can use an 8 gig module, a 16 gig, a 32 gig, or all the way up to a 48 gig. We're going to come back to that because that's one of the real big winners for ASRock right now. And you can use speeds of 4800, 5200, or 5600 with ECC um, buffered. Uh, the max that they currently have spec'd in uh, with the 48 gigabytes is 4800 speed. Um, and with non-ECC, you can get 5600. And we encourage you to go look at ASRock spec sheet. You'll see on there uh, all the different uh, modules that are spec'd in as far as the different speeds, different sizes, and different types uh, on our website as well uh, when you use our drop down configurator you'll be able to see uh, the different uh, options and generally we're going to be putting in uh, 32 and 48 uh, and again the 48 is the real big winner because if you compare the ASRock AM5 to the Super Micro AM5 which is who their big competitor is right now the Super Micro AM5 has not specced in 48 gigabytes the BIOS doesn't technically support it I have a feeling down the line they will but as of right now they don't so ASRock can get all the way up to 192 gigabytes using 448 gigabytes at 4800 speed Speed, whereas the super micros can only get to 128 gigabytes using 432 gigabytes and that is uh, one of the problems that a lot of people are having with super micro right now is they want to be able to support 192 and ASRock is the winner for that reason for RAM. All right, let's talk storage. So there are four hot swap 3.5 inch drive bays in the front, and there's one M.2 uh, in the uh, the middle here. There, there's a, a carved out section you can actually put your M.2 into, and you don't need any extra uh, added pieces or boss cards or anything like that. It's already built in uh, from ASRock directly like this. But let's start with the uh, the large form factor drives in the front. So again, there's four of them. Uh, it is a 3.5 inch drive, which is an advantage in the sense of with the 2.5 inch drive, uh, outside of using solid state drives, the 2.5 inch hard drives are just very, very uh, low capacity overall. Uh, the other note is the M.2 in the back. Uh, the M.2 is NVMe. You can get up to four terabytes at 16 uh, gigabytes per second, uh, which is always one of the big advantages of NVMe as a whole. Uh, and that's perfect for using as a, a boot drive for your operating system. So all right, now that we know a little bit more about the, uh, the storage, and we know a little bit more about the RAM and the CPU, let's go ahead and hop in and show you the guts and show you the inside. But before we do, I'm going to grab my ESD gear. Be right back. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We are safe to open the machine. So first things first, we are going to get our Phillips head, which is a PH2. We're going to unscrew the screw in the back. So we are safe to pop this open. All right, so we're going to remove our air baffle right here to start so that you guys can see there's one CPU socket, which is our AM5 Ryzen. You have your four DIMM slots. When you are loading this up, this is the first DIMM you would use. 
then this dim, so the first two blues, which means there's two memory channels and there's two dims per channel. So if you were only using two dims, two blues, if you're using all four, this would be three and this is four. Um, and most of the configurations that we sell are using all four and it's you know 128 gigs or um, 192 gigabytes, depending on what you're using. Uh, but that those will be your dim slots. Your M.2 is tucked in under here uh, where you won't really be able to see it, but it's nice and clean and you just plug in down here. You have one full height profile PC PCIe, which is very important because you only have one PCIe. So choose wisely if you want to add in an extra network card, if you want a RAID card, a GPU, uh, you can use it for a number of different things, uh, but you only have one and it is a full height built in, which is nice as you have two 10 gigabit RJ45 and two one gigabit RJ45. So from a networking standpoint, that is a huge advantage uh, that those are already built in. Uh, the super micros do not have those built in. Um, and that's a complaint that a lot of people have. So this is one of the advantages for ASRock. You have your single cabled power supply and this is 400 watt whereas if you watch our other ASRock video uh, there's two redundant power supplies same exact uh, set up as a whole, but you have two redundant power supplies. Uh, so that is again, one of the big differences between this chassis and the other model that uh, you saw in our other video. Uh, now uh, you have uh, your five standard fans. Uh, you do have extra spaces if you wanna add in a couple other fans. Um, and if you're running it hot, depending on what you're doing, that's not a bad decision. Uh, we do add in extra fans and have that option. So if that's something you're looking for and you go to our website, uh, you can definitely contact our sales team and we can add extra stuff and customize as you see fit, depending on what you're using it for. All right, that concludes our video as a whole. And I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built new or used servers, we do ASRock, we do Supermicro, we do Dell, HPE, we do Tyann, Gigabyte, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at Take care.